if you've been looking for that dress that's going to get you noticed but isn't super complicated to make, let me tell you all about Vogue 1802. I'm Maddie with Maddie Sells and thanks for hanging with me. So over here on this channel, I like to share with you the things that I've made mostly for my curvy body. But every now and then you'll catch me sewing for other people. I also like to share with you my pattern and fabric hauls, pattern reviews, and well, some tips and tricks on how to fit things to your body. So if that sounds like something that's up your alley, I'm glad you're here. Today, I wanted to tell you all about my dress that I recently made and my peacock Ankara fabric. And that's this one, which is Vogue 1802. And you all, let me just tell you that I felt amazing walking out in this dress and it wasn't even that complicated of a make. Typically, when it comes to Vogue patterns, like, I don't know why, but I have this thing that, like these little alarm bells that go off that say, no, like they're gonna trip you up. They're gonna do something. There's gonna be something difficult or crazy about this pattern. And this pattern was pretty straightforward, you all. It was, it was a good sew. So I guess let's just talk about the pattern real quick. So this is Vogue 1802. And you see that it has a high neck band with a bow in the back. Um, and actually that bow is attached only to the front and then it is not attached to the back. There is a little keyhole opening here and um, you can see the little sashes. I made this shorter view right here, um, mostly because I felt like I have quite a bit of longer summer dresses and so I was looking for something that was a little on the shorter side. So I made this view right here. This dress is actually kind of like a tent shape. And if you're making the longer one, it has that ruffle attached to it. Now, as far as sizing goes, I practically never make the recommended size that these patterns tell me to make. My full bust right now is 44 inches. And when I look here, 44 inches falls into the extra large category. Now, I know that if I make that, I'm going to have armholes that are way too big and it's going to be looking a little awkward on my shoulders. So I use my high bust measurement, which is 38 inches around my high bust, and that fell into the size large. Because I did use my high bust measurement, I had to do a full bust adjustment, which is pretty typical. And so I just quickly knocked one out. Now the way that I did my full bust measurement is I went ahead and I looked at the actual um, finished measurements that they have. Right here, it's 45 and a half inches. I typically like about two inches of ease around my bus. So I just decided I'm gonna throw in an extra half inch, which is gonna be one inch. That'll give me 46 and a half inches. I was good to go. Because this pattern doesn't have a dart, when I did do my full bus adjustment, it had added in a dart there. So I just closed that up and rotated the fullness down the actual pattern and I decided to leave that fullness there mostly because this is a tent dress and I felt like it didn't really matter if there was extra volume in the front anyways and quite honestly I think it did work out my side seams don't hang wonky everything everything really does still hang nicely so that's the reason why I decided to just leave that extra fabric in there and if you'd like to see me do a tutorial on how I did this full bust adjustment, just let me know and I can crank one out quickly for you all. So there was one thing that actually caught me a little off guard with this pattern. And quite honestly, it's because I didn't read the instructions well enough. Um, so the back of this dress is finished with bias tape. Now I made bias tape out of the fabric that I was actually using. But that is something that I didn't quite catch. And for some reason, in my mind, I just knew that this collar piece was going to attach all the way around and onto that neckline and then tie in a bow back there. And that's really not how it works. And I do like this design better than what I was originally thinking because it has that binding that you have to attach and finish separately the shoulders don't exactly match up. You all, this is where I did a little goof. 
when I was sewing my shoulder pieces together, I noticed that the back was longer and I thought, well, that's silly. Why did they do that? I checked the pattern piece against my actual fabric. I did cut it correctly. And I was just like, well, it must have just been a mistake. So I made note of it and I cut off that extra fabric. <laughs> and then I realized my mistake when it actually came time to attaching the straps on because then I had to go back in, snip a little bit away and get a little creative. <laughs> <laughs> so don't do like me pay attention to the instructions they're actually pretty decent <laughs> the arm side on this dress the actual armholes they are finished with bias tape now when I make this dress again I'm definitely going to raise the bottom of this armhole a little bit because it did show my bra so I would bring it up probably another inch and it would be good there's a little hook and eye closure on the back to keep that together. And there's pockets, which is really a nice feature in practically any dress. I mean, as long as it's not like skin tight. Pockets, please. You all, I really had fun playing around with the actual fabric design on this one. So this is the peacock design. It's like a peacock feather. And really, when I was thinking about making this dress, I held it up this way and said, do I want the peacock feathers going down or do I want them going up or do I want them on the sides? So that was a really fun process. And then when it came to this collar, I decided to put a little seam down the middle so that way I can match up all of these lines because I felt like it added really kind of like a cute detail right there on the neck. That's one of the things that I really liked about this fabric. I mean, the actual pattern on the fabric just gives you lots of options for customizing it and making it your own. I did pick this fabric up from Wax Prints Laces and More online. So if it's still available, I'll be sure to link to it in the description box below. You all, when I was wearing this dress, I felt like a little peacock fanning my feathers out there. I mean, I was walking around in my heels, feeling all cute. And then when people would actually comment on the dress and say, oh, love your dress, or oh, where'd you get that? I was like, mm, yeah. My head just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> but that's why I sew. I mean, I sew because I want to feel beautiful in the clothing that I wear. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you had fun hanging here. Subscribe and click that bell so you know the next time that there's a new video. And until next time, I sincerely hope that you find joy and have a wonderful day.